so in today's video, we're going to be talking about matter and how matter can be classified into different um, categories. So remember, matter is basically everything that's on Earth. So everything that you can see, touch, taste, right? All of these things have matter, but matter can be further broken down into um, smaller categories. So our first two categories that matter can be broken down into are pure substances and mixtures. So matter can fit under, matter can either be a pure substance or a mixture. Okay, so a pure substance can be classified as an element, which we've learned about with the periodic table of elements, or a compound, which is going to be a new word for us today. So remember, an element is like all the things we can find on the periodic table. They're made up of all the same type of atoms. So if I was going to show you or draw what they looked like, it would just be all the same type of atoms hanging out around each other. Those are elements, okay? So they are a pure substance because they are just that one type of atom. So for example, these are all just oxygen. So for compounds, it's a little different. So compound is really another name for molecule. So we've talked a little bit about what molecules are. So let's talk a little more about really what the definition of what that is. So a compound or a molecule is really when you have like two atoms, two or more atoms coming together and being bonded together to form the molecule. So for example, you've probably heard of H2O, which is water. Right, so you have one atom of oxygen bonding with two atoms of hydrogen. So again, a compound is when you have two or more atoms of different elements bonding together to make a pure substance. So in this example that I drew out, those are all molecules of water. So it's still a pure substance because they're all water. You don't have anything else in there but molecules of water. So for a pure substance, a pure substance is when you have one type of atom or molecule. So an element is only one type of atom, and then in a compound you have one type of molecule. So it's made of all one thing. There's nothing else. Um, in those. So if, remember this was all oxygen and in this example for the compound those are all water molecules and they each have their own unique physical properties. So matter can also be classified as a mixture. So again you have pure substances which are just one type of atom or molecule and then you have a mixture which if you notice in this picture it's just what you would think it is which is basically like a blending of, you could have atoms mixed in there, um, or sorry, elements mixed with different compounds, but you see in the picture that there are different substances um, in there. So a mixture is a random blend of two or more substances. There are no unique properties, and one big thing is that a mixture can be separated. So you can get the pieces out of a mixture, the different substances out of the mixture. Whereas in a pure substance, it cannot be separated. So that's something that you definitely need to remember is that it cannot be separated. So an example of a mixture would be like salt water because with salt water, you have both salt, which is actually a compound in a Cl, plus you have the water, which is another compound, which is which is H2O. So you would have these types of molecules and these types of molecules together. And you could separate the salt out of the water because if you boiled the water, then the salt would be left behind and the water would turn into a gas. So again, mixtures, blend of different substances um, can be separated. A pure substance can be like elements of all one type or compounds of all one type and they cannot be separated.